Loft Sales Batten Systems. We've got lots of patents available to us with lots of different taper characteristics. So I'll start with a micro batten. And this is a, simply a three millimeter diameter polyester glass rod. And this is worked into the sails in the micro battens, the small ones on the leech edge between the, the main battens. There are actually different uh, diameters available, two mil, three mil. Generally, we go for three. And then we come to the 8.5 millimeter diameter polyester glass rod. This is used extensively on pretty much all the sails. It depends where. Um, most of the sails have this particular rod on the bottom batten. Many of the free ride wave sails, they have the same batten on the top. And we do have taper options. The rod is extruded. I think it's actually pull-truded in production. So the thickness we determine um, just by identifying a number. And the other variable is how long the taper is. And this particular taper I think is 15 centimeters, but we can go anywhere from 10 centimeters taper to 60 centimeters, I believe, is the longest taper. So the list of options is enormous. Um, I do adjust the thickness of the tip at the front, depending on where it is in the sail. Um, longer battens generally have slightly thicker tips. Then we'll jump into carbon tube. This is a special carbon tube. Super cool batten, I really love this batten. It's 8.5 millimeter diameter outside and 5.3 millimeter diameter inside tube. And it's incredibly light and incredibly stiff. This particular batten goes into the race sails. Head batten, second batten down, usually um, just this section, no, no complication, no tapers, no couplings. And then, um, so the sky blade, racing blade, and the race board blades have this special light carbon tube. And then the same tube can be built using a 8.5 millimeter glass rod tip. And there's a coupling here, a little sleeve that joins them together. So here you start to see the profile possibilities. Again, the, the amount of taper in the front can be adjusted. This one, I believe, is a three millimeter tip. And the taper is probably, it looks like around 35 centimeters, but longer battens, the taper gets longer. Shorter battens, the tapers are shorter. So you have a, a carbon tube changing to a polyester rod in the front. And this particular special batten is used on the race designs, normally at batten three. It depends though. Sometimes on smaller sizes, we, we use a different batten. Now we're jumping into battens that are, uh, this batten is not round, it's actually a rectangular section. And this, um, we work into the wave sails. This, this rectangular section is 12 millimeters measuring the long way and uh, 10 the short way, or is it eight? I think it's eight. And uh, this is an interesting section because I can taper it two different ways. This is tapered, um, how would you say? The, the wider section has also the taper. And these battens are, are really cool for the wave sails because wave sails, and especially in the larger sizes, um, they would like to have tubes, which I'll get into later, tubes. Tubes are stiffer, but wave sails can't use tubes because tubes are not compatible with breaking waves. If you put a tubed batten sail into a breaking wave, probably the tubes will not survive. So this particular section gives me a, a very nice forward-oriented taper and still some stiffness in the back. So this section, is used on medium-sized wave sails for the longer battens. 
When we get into bigger sizes, wave sails, 5'2", 5'4", 5'7", even 6'2", even this section is a little bit flexible in the back, so there's a solution. Instead of tapering like this, um, tapering on the flat side, we have what is called, what I like to call a standing batten. So this is the same batten section, but you can, I think, see that the, the taper, instead of being on the flat side, it's standing. So the, the narrow side is up and the taper is worked in. And th this makes, you could say this is a tubed batten for wave sails because it gets, it's um, resisting bending, it's standing against the bending, the, the stiffer section is now resisting the bend. So it becomes very um, stiff in the back when it's in this orientation. To compare the two, let's flex them together. And you can see that the standing batten is stiffer in the back than the flat taper. Oh, standing battens, I think, are unique to loft sails. I don't think any other sailmaker is doing it. One, one thing about the standing batten is when you really flex it, it, it tends to want to twist to be flexing in the back in the softer orientation. And to prevent that from happening, the front of the batten pocket is made smaller so it catches the batten and it doesn't allow the batten to twist. So very special. And the standing battens are used on the wave sails larger sizes. Then we'll go to a, a larger tube. And this is a glass tube. There's no carbon. It looks, it's black, but no carbon. And it has the um, 8.5 rod on the front. And these battens are used for um, all the flat water sails. The um, oxygen, for example, is equipped totally with two battens, except for the top, which is the 8.5 rod and the bottom. All the battens in between are these glass tubes. And they do give a, a really nice forward-oriented profile. I think you can see that. Um, I do, again, there's all these different tapers available, so we can play with the length of the rod in the front the length of the rod, the length of the taper, and the thickness of the tip. So it's, it's quite simple. We just specify a tip thickness and a taper length and a tube length. And then the last batten I'll show to you is the 30% carbon tube. Very similar to the glass tube, but you can I, if you look really closely, and there are black stripes to be seen on the outside of the tube. And it's an interesting construction because 30% carbon, but the carbon that's applied, the 30% carbon, the fibers are applied to the outside of the tube where they're the most effective. If it was just simply a mix of 30% anywhere in the matrix, it wouldn't have the stiffness effect that it does when the carbon fibers are forced to be laminated to the extreme outside of the tube. And these 30% carb tubes are worked into the racing designs. The bigger they are, the more carbon tubes will be worked in. And again, the, the length of the tube, the length of the rod, the length of the taper, the amount of taper at the front, it's, it's all um, specific to every size. So the batten files are quite uh, involved. But these different batten sections and tubes combinations, they all work to, to work in harmony with the design of the sail, with the luff curves, the horizontal shapes, the vertical shapes. And when all of these elements are working in harmony, the, the result is um, greater than the sum of the parts, as we like to say. Um, the rig becomes alive when all of these parts work together in a harmonic way. And the loft batten systems is a big part of that. And uh, I'm, I'm super happy with the um, supply we have of the battens. It's um, really important to, to have these big selections, big palette of batten sections and tapers and combinations. And the result is improved performance on the water. Mm -hmm.